here. Okay, what we're going to be doing here is I'm going to make up a Bluetooth adapter for um, connecting your icon or tracks um, for the compass one to a uh, either your PC via Bluetooth or your laptop via Bluetooth um, or to an Android based um, communications device like a mobile or a tablet. Um, doesn't work with Apple, so you can't use Apple unfortunately. Yeah, no one's made an application for that, so or an app for it. So um, basically what we're going to do here, there's uh, a little JST connector that I've bought. Um, I've bought, uh, I think I've got 10 of them or something, or 6 or something. Um, buy them in a little bag. If anybody's interested, I can give you the link. Um, it's a little 4-pin four, four JST connector. And what it does is it will plug into your um, your icon or your I'm using a, a tracks. It's basically a rebadged icon. Um, a flybillist controller. So if you can see there in there, there's a little uh, white plug in there to the right hand side, right by my finger here. Um, that there is where they have the input output system connection where they actually program the firmware on it from day one I believe. Um, or, or analyze the system so what I'm going to do is actually you plug the JST plug into that and I'm going to um, put a couple of photos of what the pinout is of this and also of the Bluetooth controller and how you wire it so that will come up um, within this video and I'll put a little gap in it for you to do so you can see that. Okay so what we've got to do is we've got to, I've got a look with this little Bluetooth um, module here came a little four wire um, cable so what I'm going to do is I'm going to cut it off about halfway along roughly and I'm going to strip these wires back and I'm going to basically solder them to this cable here see so this is where you've got to make sure that your pin out's correct um, so I'm just going to and I'll heat shrink these once I've got it all done. But I'm going to put the heat shrink on now um, to slide over the whole lot later. So I'm going to get some heat shrink and we'll be right back. I've cut off a bit of um, heat shrink here to go over the module once I've got it all plugged in. So it's going to go over like that. And when I heat shrink it. So And I've also got a piece here that's going to go over the the wires that I've stripped back here um, but basically I'm going to heat shrink each one of these separately once I've soldered them all up um, I've got my my um, mini JST connector here that plugs straight into the brain or icon or compass tracks um, you've got to take note though um, because of the wiring of this um, and the way that it's set up that the, the one that I got from eBay a while back now uh, it actually plugs in this way into the into the port, like so. Plugs in like that. I'm pretty sure. I had it in there before. Maybe not. Oh yeah, no, it definitely goes that way. Yep, that's the way it plugs in like that. So if you can, if you notice that, it's got the four wires coming out, and they are not correct because um, on your, I'm going to post a picture just to show you this, but the pin out for the actual um, the system input output plug um, should be um, minus should be at the bottom, which should be black. 
so black should be at the bottom and it currently is red and then red should be at the top and then your RX and TX you can have and your yellow and your white so I'm going to actually flick this cable out and yeah and I'll just flick these little tabs up and pull these cables out and rearrange them and um, put it back together the way it should be and I'll show you that when it's done so what you've got to do is you've just got to flick these little tabs up very small so um, it's quite difficult I'm not going to probably be able to show you much but anyway so you flick these tags up and then you slide the cables out okay I've um, re rearranged my cables in the mini JST connector um, so what I've got now is when you look at the connector here in the hole the plug goes in like so Like that. So with the top you should have your positive or VCC. I've got yellow as my transmit, white as my receive and black as uh, negative. So now I'm going to match that up to the other side of this which is the 4 pin plug. So I've connected it up to the device and the reason I'm going to be using heat shrink is so I can't pull this plug off and reverse it and get it all stuffed up and that will cook the um, the icon or the flightless controller so you can see the, the labeling on here you've got um, VCC at the top you've got um, ground you've got TXD and RXD so you've got to be very careful that you get the correct ones soldered up so what we're going to do is we're just going to tin these quickly and I will um, then heat shrink them and then solder it and, um, and then we'll finish it off. Okay, so um, I'm pretty sure I don't have to show you how to do the joining of the cables, but um, I'll, I'll probably end up, well, I'll probably will end up doing that and show you. So um, we're just going to quickly tin it. So I'll just zoom in so you can see that happen. I've got my um, Heco copy, a uh, Chinese copy of my um, uh, digital soldering station, really good, I've actually used it hundreds of times, really good for anything from uh, 6S batteries to this sort of stuff. So we're just going to tin this now, just quickly, um, I've cleaned my tip up. going to tin the, tin the tip and just tin the tin each cable okay and I'm going to tin this as well tin this end Actually, I'm going to cut these down on this cable here. I'm going to cut it down to about half. So it's not so long. Just snip it in half, roughly, just along there. I'm going to strip those back and tin those. I'm going to tin this one. Just clean the tip.
Okay, now before I, um, I'm going to have to actually use some um, small heat shrink um, to go on each wire. I'm going to feed it right up to the end of the wire so it doesn't actually shrink on me. And I'll just cut them about, um, about uh, 20 millimeters long and just match each one up. So you're going to need four of those. And three. So make sure you do put the um, put these on first, otherwise you solder them up and you go, oh, I've got to do it again. So. Slide it all the way up to the ends of each one. Okay. So I'm going to start with the positive side first, the red one, and I'll line up the other one, the other end of this cable here, to go into the correct slot. So uh, if we remember the top, the, the top wire here, right by my thumb, oh finger, sorry, is the VCC, which is the positive. So that's going to go to the red one. So that, that's, that's that one there. It's going to go to the red one. So get a bit of solder on your tip. Recheck it. It's this one here. It's going to go to red. For that to cool. Okay, that's a red one on. Um, next one is the next one along on the controller is um, ground. So that's the black one. So the next one across here, the second one in this lineup, is going to black. Okay, so the black's going to tuck under here. And go on to this one. Okay, so that's a black one. Next one I've got down is um, transmit, so that's the, the um, yellow. So we'll line those two up and solder them together. hardly see that the light's really poor in here. Either that or my eyes are sore. One of the two. I'll get some fresh solder on here. Those ones, and the last one, of course, is the last one. 
you've got the RS, RX signal. That's really fine cable, so you're going to have to. It's really hard to see. And it's dark, so it's pretty hard. Some of that looks good. So now what we've got to do is we've got to put your, slide your heat shrink down. I'll just do each wire at a time. Get my burner gun. And just heat shrink, shrink the heat shrink on on each one. And remember, you've got to make sure that your original piece of um, heat shrink, the big piece that you set up in the beginning down here, is still on. Otherwise, you're going to have a lot of trouble. A lot of trouble. Okay, there's that. And slide over your main heat shrink. So, now we're just going to shrink that on. And that's it. Ready to go. So that's all heat shrunk on. And now ready to just plug straight in. Um, and all I need to do now is heat shrink the um, this plug on so that it stays connected at all times. So you can't disconnect it from the trend from the um, from the Bluetooth connector, which I'm going to do right now. And that'll be it. soft so I can still twist this around and that's it done so that's pretty much it 
you can go a bit flasher if you wanted to and actually just um, if you had the proper mini JST connectors you could just go straight into these white cables and plug it straight into there and you'd have no heat shrink in the center there and it would be nice and flexy little jumper cable but that's pretty much it folks um, and then it's just basically connect up to your um, plug it into your controller like so black to the uh, red to the top of course and then you get a little screwdriver to plug that in that's it connected so there you got it, red at the top, yellow for transmit, white for receive and black for negative. Okay so now all you got to do now is basically fire up your controller, making sure you've got your polarity right or you'll burn it out. Um, that'll fire up the um, with using the 5 volt um, signal from, from the main bus, it'll fire up this Bluetooth connector you can open up your application and uh, set your Bluetooth up, pair it up uh, using code 1234 I believe on these units and you're good to go. So I hope that helps and um, I'll post another video once I've got this connected up. I'll actually, I've got a, a proper icon um, or another Alma Goblin 630 and I'm going to test it on that and get it going and we'll see how it goes. But this, this here is for my build for my 500 Adam. Okay, thanks guys, and we'll catch up with you soon.